Welcome back to the channel and to another episode of 2K22's Things You Might Not Know. As always, check out the series playlist, link on the screen for any you might have missed. And here we go again, this time episode number 11 of 10 Things You Might Not Know About WWE 2K22. Up first, let's talk Booker T, specifically King Booker. Now, as you likely know, this version of Booker T was recently added to the roster via an update. But what you might not know is that King Booker does feature his own winning scene, but it's not selected by default. To fix this, simply go to Winning Scenes and select the King Booker motion. Sticking with superstars that were recently added to the roster, let's now talk Dominic Dijakovic. Now, despite some assuming he was added to the roster due to backlash, that might not be the case as the game does feature some commentary unique to him, including what you might not know, some unique special NXT TakeOver audio. This guy wants to be on top of NXT and TakeOver is where you prove it. Well, who could forget the incredible match that Dijakovic had at NXT TakeOver Portland? Well, he's always eager to prove himself. And when it comes to NXT, there's no bigger stage than TakeOver. Tonight could be Dijakovic's moment. Next up, we are talking masked superstars. So recently in this series, we covered how some masks were removable. And today we have got a few more to add. Now it's worth pointing out this originally couldn't be done, but with one of the recent updates, this is now doable. So if you are wanting a maskless version of Nikki A.S.H. or Retribution, you're in luck as this is now possible, and can simply be done by removing the mask in this year's creation suite. Moving on, and the next thing today isn't a new thing nor a hidden thing, but an awesome detail that remains in the game that some still might not be aware of. So leverage pins are of course in 2K22, and a cool little detail that some still might not know about is that some of these pins feature some really cool back and forth pin trades. Now these trades won't happen every time, nor for every motion, but can take place for some at times during matches. With this one especially, which is for the standard schoolboy, being one of the best pin trades in the entire game. So recently, the always awesome Boogeyman was added to 2K22 via DLC, and today we have got a cool little touch that you might not know about. So during Boogeyman's victory scene, if you break out once the worms are in his mouth, then they remain for the post-match attack, which creates this pretty badass visual. Sticking with DLC and recent updates, a move for the next DLC pack has accidentally been added to 2K22. So the move we are talking about is the end transmission, which is the tag team finisher for MSK, who were originally scheduled to be in an upcoming DLC pack. Now despite that intended pack not being out just yet, the move has already been added and is available under tag team moves in this year's movesets. So one of the best things this year about 2K22 has been the cross-platform community creations, and specifically ones that were modded to be used on all consoles. Adding to that list today is a few more bonus legends from the My Faction mode. So a month or so back, there was the WrestleMania Rewind pack, with at least four of these variants currently uploaded to this year's creations. 
Those include in this one for Roman Reigns 15, Hulk Hogan 88, Asuka 17, and Becky Lynch 18. I learned more recently there is the DX pack, which now makes more classic versions of HBK and Triple H now available. Now these superstars were not intended to be used outside of the My Faction mode, but can be attained via these awesome cross-platform modded creations. Previously in this series we've covered how this year's DLC features some brand new rivalry audio at the start of some matches, and continuing on from that today, and what you might not know, is that these same combinations also feature some pretty cool post-match audio, which is different depending on who wins the actual match. Check out this short compilation of some of the best so far featuring the first two DLC packs. The Boogeyman defeats JBL. This is one situation that Bradshaw couldn't buy his way out of. On the bright side, I think JBL is about to get a free lunch. Unfortunately, it's a mouthful of words. The wrestling god summoned the strength to strike down the monster known as the Boogeyman. Yeah, JBL has to be breathing a sigh of relief that the Boogeyman's continual mind games may finally be over. Rikishi with an impressive victory over X-Pac, guys. The power of the 400 plus pound Samoan giant flattened X-Pac like a pancake. Amazing victory for X-Pac in a match few thought he would win. Just an enormous victory over Rikishi. Tonight, X-Pac proved that he can slay any giant you put in his way. Credit where it's due, AJ Styles won in phenomenal fashion over his former personal colossus. This is a huge win for AJ Styles in every sense of the word as he toppled Omos. Omos with a victory over his one-time mentor, AJ Styles. This time the student stands tall over the teacher. An incredible victory, an amazing moment for Ilya Dragunov as he once again stands over a fallen Walter. Dragunov just proved that his first win was far from a fluke. Long live the Czar of WWE. What a matchup. Hats off to both superstars, but the ring general took Dragunov down with extreme precision. Major victory as Walter overpowered the Mad Russian. What a match. An incredible victory as the Phenom finally settled the score with his biggest rival, the gargantuan Yokozuna. The most prolific entity sports entertainment has ever known leaves victorious. And it does not matter the size of his opponent. The Undertaker simply cannot be stopped. I can't believe it. Yokozuna has done what many thought to be impossible, and that's defeat the Phenom. What an unbelievable sight. We just experienced the fall of the dead man as he was crushed by Yokozuna. Next up, a cool little detail for Indy Hartwell. So when you view Indy Hartwell's entrance in big arenas and even this year's creation suite, the trons and videos look like this. But what you might not know is that when used in NXT arenas, you actually get this awesome visual as part of the entrance video, which features this drawing of both Hartwell as well as Dexter Loomis. No doubt a cool little touch, especially if you're looking to put these two together in your game. And last up today, we are talking about one of the best moves in all of wrestling and in this year's game, we are talking about the RKO by Randy Orton. Now as awesome as the curb stop catching RKO was, as an actual catching finisher, this is no longer doable. But what you might not know is that as a reversal, this badass moment still remains in 2K22. This one is simply the reversal of the grounded curb stomp, which results in this always awesome moment. Now this one isn't exclusive to Randy Orton, but is rather move specific, which means the likes of Riddle can also feature it. 
As always, share me in the comments any suggestions for future episodes. Stay tuned for more like this coming to the channel soon. And until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.